Hey, what's up guys? It's Chris from Daily Tech, and today I've got a Mac gaming video. Now, hold on, before you start with the hate comments, let's just get one thing straight. You don't buy a Mac as a primary gaming device. The people who buy Macs are usually designers or video editors, or maybe somebody who just likes the style and how it looks. And when it comes to gaming on a Mac, it's true that you just have fewer choices across the board, whether it's upgradability or game selection, and Macs just tend to be much pricier. But if you're thinking about buying a Mac or already own a Mac and you're wondering what the gaming experience is really like, you can still have a lot of fun gaming on a Mac. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about some games and show some gameplay on a 27 inch Retina iMac with a four gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor that's got 32 gigs of RAM and a three terabyte fusion drive along with AMD Radeon R9 graphics. Okay, well first things first, are there even any decent games to play on a Mac? Well, the answer is yeah, but you have to know where to look. If you just stick to the Mac App Store, you might be kind of disappointed, but if you expand to the Steam universe, then you're gonna have a lot more options. Now, I think when a lot of people think about Mac gaming, they probably picture iOS ports or maybe some sort of retro style games, but actually there's a decent selection of new games with respectable graphics that are a lot of fun to play. So some of the games that I've been having fun playing lately include XCOM 2, Alien Isolation, and the latest edition of Homeworld, along with World of Tanks. And I also have some fun playing games that are a little less graphics intensive, like CSGO or Superhot. Now this iMac can play all of these games really well, but unfortunately it can't handle the ultra video settings on either XCOM or Alien. Still, on the iMac, I do enjoy playing on 5K settings whenever I can, and the other games that I mentioned all play flawlessly at their top video settings. Now, the Magic Mouse and Magic Keyboard are not gaming accessories by any stretch of the imagination, but honestly, gaming with them is still a blast. You will, however, want to make sure that you get a few things optimized, including checking the box in your keyboard settings that says use all F1, F2, etc. keys as standard function keys, which means you won't be able to control the volume using your keyboard while that setting's turned on. Also, you're probably gonna wanna disable those hot corners if you have them turned on because they can show up in certain games. Now, as far as the games that I've already mentioned go, XCOM 2 is really solid. Not only is there a surprising amount of replayability in the campaign mode, but personally, I'm just a sucker for any good strategic game. Now, Alien Isolation has tons of super highly detailed environments that you can explore, and I really love the option to play through the original movie. That is cool. Now, ever since the original Command & Conquer came out, man, that makes me feel old, I've been a huge fan of the RTS genre, and Homeworld Deserts of Karak is definitely a solid entry in that genre. Now, if I could only pick one kind of game type as my favorite sort of game ever, it would have to be online multiplayer games, and World of Tanks is an excellent one. What I really love about this game is that you really have to know what you're doing, and there's really no second chances. If somebody catches you from the side or something, you're a goner and that's it. So again, guys, I hope this changes, but right now you cannot, you don't, you should not buy a Mac as your primary gaming device. But on the other hand, if you have one or are going to buy one, it doesn't mean that you can't have a really solid, really fun gaming experience. So hopefully you guys like this video. Go ahead and drop your favorite funniest Mac gaming joke down in the comments, and I'll catch up with you guys in the next video. Later.